Hey guys, so I'm just kind of having some venting moments probably tonight. <laughs> I'm at work and guys, sometimes it just be so hard <laughs> to be doing what we're supposed to do as Christians. I mean, you seriously have to stay prayed up, you know, prayed up and just stay in the word <laughs> so that you can be led by God's spirit and not what you want to do or feel like you have a right to do. You know, you still have to practice humility and just know that, you know, when it's all said and done, God's got your back. God's in your corner. He sees everything. He knows what you're going through. But we are to be light in the darkness. People are watching us. People observe us, you know, and I know sometimes we're going to falter. A lot of times we're going to falter, you know, even when we, you know, are seeking God for guidance because uh, it's just that fleshly nature. But thank God that he who has begun a work in us will complete it until the day that he comes. So we're just, that tells me that we're just continual works in progress, that we're never going to get it just all right, right now. So rather than get flustered about it and it's like, oh, I can't do this, you know, or having the enemy looking at you, laughing, like, aha, you say you're a Christian, but you keep messing up here. You know, you say you've arrived and um, you've like been able to accomplish some aspect of things that you struggle with, but then something else comes up and it's like, or have you really, because, you know, I thought you had gotten over that. I thought you could handle yourself better in that situation. And then that situation comes up, you know, but you know, that's just a part of our daily struggle, <laughs> our daily struggle. You know, it's just something that's, which is why we need Christ every day which is why we need him. Because just imagine if we didn't, we wouldn't even have a recollect conscience, a conscience to like want to be trying to do right. Because um, we just, you know, just be have a heart and heart and just want to do what we want to do. And we even give no thought of like, should not be acting better as a child of God. But yes, we should because we are Christ's representatives on the earth. So, of course, you know, God knowing that we will endure and face certain difficulties in this life, which is why he sent us his Holy Spirit to help us. So that's why we have to just continue to look to the Holy Spirit to help us. And even when we falter, we don't stay down. We get back up and we just keep pressing, pressing toward the mark. Like the Apostle Paul says, you know, not that I have attained it, but I keep pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So that's what we have to do. But, I, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can attest with me. It'd be a struggle. It'd be a struggle sometimes. And like I can like be at work and I see how I may have reacted to something and then when I think about it a little bit later, I'm like, wow, Karen, you just did totally opposite of what you speak about. And so, you know, rather than just beating myself over the head with it, it's a learning experience for me to recognize that, yes, although I do try to put videos out to encourage and tell, to tell people, you know, how we should be and live for Christ, I also need the encouragement coming right back at me, and we just need to encourage and build each other up. The Word of God tells us to bear one another's burden, you know, in love, and that's what we should be doing, but, you know, we live in a world where that's not always what's going on because we live in a world where not everybody are believers in Christ, but as believers in Christ, even those of us should be bearing one another's burden and some of us that are believers in Christ aren't bearing one another's burdens. I mean, you'll have more riff raff going on within the body of believers than those in the outside. You know, so you know, we just have to keep praying for our brothers and sisters and building them up. We face struggles every day. We face temptations and trials every day. And it just, you know, can become very hard, but we have to stay in that word and stay strengthened 
you know, with the word of God. That's the only thing that's really going to help us, the word. The word of God is what I can go and rely on to, to help me get back focus and where I need to be. And then just going and spending time with God where he strengthens me and gives me peace and knowing that, you know, he's not, he does chastise his own, but he's not like just scolding us when we mess up. You know, he's still there with open, loving arms and just saying, you know, I'm here for you. I'm, we can get through this. My grace is sufficient. I can help you. Do you have a mind to want to do right, to live right for me, to be that light in a dark world, to uh, let your light so shine so that others may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven? And that's where I'm at. That's what I want to do. But I'm not always going to get it right. You're not always going to get it right. But thank God we have an advocate, the Father, who is helping us. He will help us. So never think that there's no help available or I just can't do it, it's too much. We're not meant to do it on our own. We can't do it on our own. And that's why we seek God and, you know, in it. So, like I said, I, mean, I don't know, I may have another rant. Um, maybe, hopefully not, because I had to just get away and, you know, get myself back focused to where I need to be. And, um, yeah, so guys, thank you for tuning in to the video. I am at work, as you can probably tell, of course. I mean, I made that, I guess, known at the beginning of the video. But um, I didn't feel like taking off the mask to speak to you guys. Um, I just figured I would keep it on. And now I'm about to go start my 12-hour shift or continue in my 12-hour shift. So... Thank you guys again for watching and peace out.